Hey, my name is Silver. Or Silvery, like YouTube wants to tell everybody that my name is. I make videos about games. Primarily Neverwinter, but with some other random stuff mixed in sometimes. And I had a channel with 10.6k subscribers. Over 10,000. And then, all of a sudden, I didn't. And here we are. I'm wearing a polo because I feel like I have to make a really good first impression because this is the first time you're seeing me. Technically, because this is a new channel. But that's not really that important. The important part is, what actually happened? Where have I been the past two, three weeks? You know, a long time? And what is going to happen in the future? Well, I mean, lots of things. <laughs> but I think it's uh, safe for me to just start from the beginning and explain everything that happened. And this story contains a lot of me being an idiot. So, as long as you're not an idiot, you should be fine if you're concerned about the same thing happening to you or something. So, just don't be an idiot. Okay. So, I got sick, like, at the beginning of the month, and I took some days off from making videos. Usually, I'm doing one of three things when it comes to my channel every single day. I'm either planning a video, recording a video, or editing a video. And if I'm not doing any of those things, then I'm just being a lazy... A lazy. But usually, I do one of those three things. So, I didn't do any of those three things when I was sick. I just had a cold, and all I have left now is a little bit of... Uh, chest residue that I like to hack out my lungs sometimes. But that's it. I'm fine. So I took one day off of work. And on that day, I was laying in bed and I decided to check my emails. And I got an email from a potential sponsor for my channel. Now, I have not accepted any sponsors ever for my channel. And I have gone through dozens of scam slash phishing sponsorship emails in the past, so at that point I felt confident that I could identify such things, and so I read it. And it was the most legitimate looking sponsorship email I had ever seen so far. And usually whenever you get these kinds of emails from these people trying to fish your passwords and stuff, they have a lot of red flags. Either they don't speak English, that's number one. They have a really dumb email with like 19 million numbers in it. They don't provide any sort of company information or a website for me to do research on them or their product. They don't even tell me what their product is. They're just asking me to do a video about them for money. Or it's just very obviously a scam. You know how you can just sort of tell whenever you get those telemarketing phone calls where they're like, this is a debt collector. Your warranty on your car is expired. Please give me $5 million in Walmart gift cards. <laughs> Sorry, I can't even say that without laughing, but you know, that's those are things you very obviously know are scams, right? None of that. This email that I got checked all the boxes. It was written very professionally in perfect English, provided contact information for the person who contacted me. They provided a website for their product. They explained to me everything about their product. They gave me reasonable prices. Well, rather, they asked me for a price and then they agreed on my price. All of these things checked all the legitimacy boxes in my brain. And so at that point, I decided to check out their product they were advertising. I uh, clicked on their website, and it downloaded a Trojan, which is a piece of malware that shares cached passwords with whoever is in control of it. So that happened. I knew immediately after it downloaded what it was, and I removed it probably within three minutes. You know, I do have antivirus programs that work, but... You know, at that point, the damage was already done. But looking back, there were some red flags that I should have noticed but didn't. And that is, you know, where one part of the me being an idiot comes in. The other part, the biggest part of me being an idiot comes right after that. So after I removed the malware, I didn't do anything. That is probably the dumbest decision I have ever made in my entire life. And I can't really use me being sick as an excuse because it's not one. I didn't do a thing. 
I removed the malware and was like, oh, this sucks. I hope nothing happens and moved on with my day like a complete dumbass. Never do that. If I had immediately changed my password and enabled two-factor authentication, I would have been completely fine and none of this would have ever happened. Which, uh, obviously, I'm just, like, a little bit dumb up here and been kicking myself constantly since then, but, um, just to clarify, this, the account associated with my YouTube channel was one of few accounts that I did not have two-factor authentication enabled on. Don't worry, everything is two-factor authenticated now. Every password of mine has been changed, and um, all my other accounts are fine. But I didn't enable it right then and there. And obviously, anyone listening to this is like, well, duh. Obviously, you should have just had two-factor authentication enabled in the first place, or maybe just not clicked on that link in your email. That was really stupid. And I'm just like, yes. But I said those exact same things before I was in that situation. Every time I would hear about somebody's account getting taken over or hacked or hijacked or whatever you want to call it, I said those exact same things. Like, why didn't they just enable two-factor authentication? Or why didn't they immediately change their password? Or, or why did they even open that email, you know? I said those exact same things and then I still did it. That is the big thing here. So, like I said, my account is secure now. All of my accounts that I own are secure. There has been no suspicious activity on any of them. I've been monitoring it on the ones that have that kind of feature. And like I said, all of the accounts that support two-factor authentication have had it enabled for me. So I'm not concerned about losing any more or anything. The only thing that was stolen was my YouTube channel. So I went to bed that night. I woke up the next day and I still had my channel. Nothing had happened. So I was like, huh, yeah. Must have been a false alarm. Nothing happened. Better go back to doing nothing like the idiot I am and lay in bed all day and just pretend that nothing happened yesterday. And then I went to bed again and then I woke up the next morning, Friday morning, and my channel was gone. At first, I didn't panic because the previous week I had had an issue on my phone where my channel was not showing up at all. Uh, it just mysteriously went poof. So... I had to fix it by removing the Google account completely from my phone and re-adding it. So I didn't panic at first. I did that and I re-added it and it still wasn't there. So I was like, okay. And then I removed it and re-added it again and it still wasn't there. So I got out of bed, got on my PC and this was a work day, Friday morning. Fridays are the busiest day at where I work. And I logged into my computer and my channel was not there. Uh, at that point, I was like, oh, shit. My channel had been hijacked. I had an idea of what had happened, but I was still not completely sure how until a little bit later that evening when I was able to fully process everything, but I had to go to work that morning. But uh, the very first thing I did once I found out my channel had been hijacked was panic. Obviously, the most responsible thing to do in any important situation like that. And then the thing I did after that was contact YouTube support because that is the only thing that you can do in such a situation. I started on Twitter because I had seen people get issues resolved there and then I went on their forums and then nothing happened on there. Nothing happened on Twitter either, by the way. They were like, we'll send you a DM with the next steps and then they never did until like six days later. And then I found out that Google had a live chat. Well, YouTube in particular had a live chat, so... I opened a live chat, I was the only one in the queue, and got handled immediately. I had a rep named Elijah, who was extremely nice, and immediately forwarded my case, made a case for me, and, uh, I guess, like, forwarded it on to their team or something, and, um, he said he would follow up with email if anything happened, and so I went another day or so, no updates at all, and then, um, I got an email back from another rep, named Ritz, which is a really cool name, by the way, who was also extremely nice and uh, was filling in for Elijah for the day. And he asked me for some information to verify my channel, which I then provided. After that, nothing happened for days. And uh, nothing has still happened. So here we are. Oh yeah, I forgot the most important part. This morning, this Friday, the 14th, Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. 
Sorry for spamming your notification feeds with stuff that I didn't do. But anyways, the person who hijacked my account, nothing had happened on my channel at all for the week. So I was hopeful that he was just trying to sell it and there was nothing actually going on there. But what had really happened was that person had spent the entire week uploading a bunch of videos and keeping them private. And then this morning made them all public at the exact same time in the middle of the night. And they were all like Asian game show videos. There is a bunch of stuff that violated community guidelines as well. And this was like between 200 and 400 videos. It had to be over 400 because I got an email congratulating me on 600 uploads when I had only had 212 the day before. The person uploaded all of these at once. And uh, from the time that happened to the time I woke up and my phone was blown up with like 50 messages from people. Did your channel get hacked? Hey, I think your channel was hacked. Hey, this, did you upload all these videos? I'm sorry. I really do appreciate you guys reaching out and trying to double check on that. But it was a lot. From the time it happened to the time I woke up and realized I lost hundreds of subscribers. I mean, I can't blame them because they just got 400 notifications about something they really do not care about. And... That's completely fine. I do not blame them for unsubscribing one bit. Some people were like, I unsubscribe, but I will come back when it's fixed. And I was like, I love you. If YouTube had reacted sooner to the problem, it would never have happened. I could have got my channel back and I, I would have had like 400 private videos to delete, but I would prefer that over having them all go public, you know? And then uh, my channel got disabled or something because if you go to the videos tab now, there's nothing there. Uh... Yeah, but my old videos are still existing in the playlist, which is kind of nice because I don't really want to lose those. Uh, I had a few people in my Discord volunteer to download a whole bunch of the important ones that I laid out and they downloaded them all for me. So I have them if I need to or feel like I want to re-upload them. But as of right now, before you ask, are you going to re-upload your video, Silver? As of right now, no. Because on my old channel, if you've been following my channel over the course of the past year, my content went from shitty garbage to slightly less shitty garbage. And with this new channel, I would like to keep all of the slightly less shitty garbage content. So like the decent content and not have any of that garbage on it. As of right now, no, I'm not going to re-upload them. If anything, I'm just going to make better versions of what I already had, specifically the tips for new players and like tank and healer comparison videos and stuff like that. But yeah, this entire past week has been really hard on me emotionally, obviously because I knew I did a stupid and I'm my own worst critic. So I got plenty of lecturing from the big way up here. And which, by the way, I don't really need any lectures from any of you because I already have plenty of lecturing from myself. Thank you. But I really just don't want this to happen to any of you, which is why I am explaining exactly what happened and how not to have it happen. Which is basically the same advice you've been hearing for forever is don't click links in your emails. This is my new channel now. I'm going to upload here all the Neverwinter and, you know, other random content I decide to upload. Probably for the foreseeable future. If I get my old channel back, I, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. I might go back to uploading on that one and use this one just as a secondary thing. I don't know yet. I haven't fully decided, but I just want to say that I received a whole lot of support over this whole issue. I knew that I was being a complete idiot, or I had been a complete idiot to allow this to happen, when I could have completely avoided it. And even so, people were still understanding and supportive of me and said that they would follow me no matter what. Like, they love my content, they don't blame me for this happening, they're here for me, they want to talk, they're supportive, and I'm just, like, blown away by that. Because um, an issue with me is that I often feel like nobody cares and uh, about me or my content, you know. So see, having seeing being able to see that there are people who do care was uh, kind of an eye opener in a way, and it's uh, been really nice because, like I said, it's been a really rough week. 
The first few days of this happening, I was panicked pretty much the entire time. I barely ate. My sleep was terrible. I um, got really weak because, you know, I wasn't really eating anything. I was just really, really destroyed mentally. Because imagine you had spent a year and a half passionately working on something in your free time. Something you, you really loved. And then all of a sudden you wake up and it's just gone. It's like a really unexpected breakup in a relationship, kinda. It was really rough. And not being able to get it resolved quickly or, or just the period of waiting and the feeling of having no control over the situation, which I didn't have any control over the situation, was awful. I would not wish it on anyone. But... Based on what I have heard about other people going through the same experiences, I have another additional five to eight weeks to wait until my channel is back to me, and even then, it will likely have community strike guidelines and community guidelines strikes and will not be eligible for monetization and will probably be locked down in some way, which means I will have to fight YouTube support even more to get those things removed. And yeah. So I just decided to say, you know what, I'm not going to wait around anymore. I need something to fill this creative void that was created, and so I made a second channel. And this video is getting pretty long. If you've made it this far in my storytelling video, which I've never made one of these before, I applaud you. Really, truly, truly, I do. I do applaud you. I'm applauding right now. Can you see my hands clapping together? Yes, applause. But, thank you. I think I said everything that I wanted to say. I might have forgot something. If you could just do me a favor, and if you're watching this right now, share this video or my channel with the people who you know have watched me in the past. I mean, like your Discord servers, your Neverwinter guilds, your, your friends, you know, because I'm starting from nothing, and starting from nothing is really rough. Uh, in 30 days from today, I'll be able to have a custom link to my channel because you have to have 100 subscribers and your channel has to be 30 days old. And so I'll be able to claim a custom link so you don't have to type in all these annoying like numbers and letters and stuff to get to my channel. Thank you for watching or listening or whatever. I have missed making videos. I felt kind of lost. I wasn't really sure what to do when I had no channel. Like I said before, I've been making videos in some way, shape, or form for a long time. Like eight years on and off and it's something that I'm really passionate about and I would like to continue doing. So <sighs> thank you for being here. Thank you for being subscribed if you are. If you're not, thank you for watching and you should maybe subscribe. Give me your thumb because I need a new thumb collection started because my old one's gone. But just remember that no matter what happens to you or what you're doing in life, just don't give up. Please. I know this video was about me, but I want to make sure that you know not to give up. And always keep laughing. Okay, bye.